It is one of the oldest manufacturers in our state. And tomorrow, the Faribault Woolen Mill is holding a huge celebration to mark its 150th anniversary. It is also one of the very few companies across the country that has not shipped any of its portions of its operations overseas. So this morning, reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson introduces us to some of the people who've made this all possible. Many a newspaper headline from 1865 has been knit into the history books. Abraham Lincoln killed. The Civil War ended. Slavery abolished. And it was that year the Faribault Woolen Mill opened for business. It was the beginning of a Minnesota manufacturing legacy. All of my dad's sisters worked here and my dad's brother worked here. 150 years later, the mill is still working. It's just a lovely place to be in, be around, work in. And so is Mary Boudreau. Now, my grandkids can see me work. Boudreau turns 80 in November. You gotta work. Keeps you young. She found her fountain of youth 61 years ago. Then I was called a magazine filler. And she has no plans to retire. Well, there's always something different to do you know, on your machines and you get different patterns to work with and changing them over. I don't know. It's just fun. It requires a tremendous amount of skill. Our labor force here is very talented to be able to handle the type of machinery that we do here today. you got to watch it. So it looks easy, but it can get complicated. 100% of the manufacturing happens right here in the hometown of Faribault, Minnesota. A claim very few companies nowadays can still make. It all begins with the raw wool fleece. First you cut it, and then it goes into spinning and toning and warping and then weaving, and then it goes into the washroom and the dryer. And, and much of the work is done on equipment nearly as old as the company itself. There is no final destination for this type of company. It's always on a journey, and there's a lot of pride in making sure that the, it continues to get handed to the next decade, the next generation. Just like it has been for the last century and a half. It keeps you warm. It's got the warmth and the fiber that it'll last forever if you take care of it. In Faribault, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 5 Eyewitness News. So the 150th anniversary celebration is tomorrow from 12 to 6 at Woolen Mill. The event is free to anyone who wants to go. That running of the sheep event starts at 1 o'clock. Also, shoppers will be able to get limited edition blankets and goods, all at special prices.